continue to reserve. The gentleman reserves. The gentlewoman from Minnesota is recognized. And Mr. Speaker, I yield two minutes to the gentleman from Indiana. The gentleman is recognized. Thanks, Mr. Speaker. I rise in opposition to the previous question so that we can immediately consider H.R. 6858, the American Energy Independence from Russia Act. Just one year ago, our country was comfortably meeting our energy needs, and we were a net exporter of energy for the first time in 50 years. However, under the Biden administration, we have seen con a continued assault on American energy that has killed jobs, increased our dependency on foreign energy sources, and most recently jeopardized our national security. The administration continues to block new oil and gas lease sales from moving forward, all while placing undue regulatory burdens on American energy development. Just this week, President Biden proposed $45 billion worth of tax increases on fossil fuels in his budget to further weaken America's ability to power our country. These proposed tax increases are just another example of the administration doubling down on the anti-American produced energy policies that have sent prices skyrocketing here at home. The administration's energy ad agenda has not only undermined our country's energy security, but has also forced our European allies to become even more dependent on Russia to meet their energy needs. Instead of turning to America's own energy sector to meet our energy needs, this administration is asking, asking countries like Iran and Venezuela to compensate for the ban on Russian imports and ignoring America's energy producers. In doing so, they are prior to prioritizing oil produced by dictators over American energy producers who support jobs and businesses here at home. The administration must reverse course and stop depending on foreign dictators to ship oil to the United States. Mr. Speaker, now is the time to flip the switch and reduce our dependence on foreign energy by unleashing American energy. I urge a no vote on the previous question, and I yield back. 